<laughs> I fully deserve so you know they've been playing fantastically I always always say Spain had the ball a lot you know and I love the way they play but at times it's a bit boring and football is about scoring goals unfortunately they, today they didn't really create a lot of big chances and they didn't manage to score goals and that's how it goes let's have a look at the penalties then because there were three misses for Spain which is why the game was won in the end by Morocco and that penalty that we just saw and this is the first one. This is Sarabia, who actually missed a brilliant chance earlier on, how as well. Yeah, he did. You know, his, his chance, we'll, we'll look at his chance again. But Morata into the second one. Slow pe slow penalty. To, everyone's doing this slow run up. And if you don't put it in the back of the net, it doesn't look great. And obviously this one here, Busquets, slow again. You know, have, have a bit of purpose. You know, run up to the ball, put it in the back of the net. The frustration now on those players, they'll be devastated. But this here... Joey, that's one one out of your book, isn't it? I've never taken a penalty like that. Certainly not this level. That is unbelievable. I just, I just, my eyes keep getting drawn to the yeah. fans and the parties. I don't know when they're going to stop tonight. You know, they don't. There's no letting up on the party. They're the manager. You know, I've been impressed with him. The subs he's made, the timing, the changes in the players, the the, 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 the tactics. The, you, whenever you see a good team, there's always a good manager behind them. You know, because like like you said, he's galvanised them. Yeah. Like Ziyech come back into the hole and I've watched Ziyech for two years at Chelsea he's never put a shift in like that in a blue shirt tonight he was outstanding defensively we, I know what he can do on the ball I know he can he, he can create things and, he, and, and, and handle the football but he was he was just two men out there tonight Amrabat outstanding as good as a holding midfielder we've seen at the tournament in terms of defensive instincts the two centre-halves heroes four center arms because they both had to come off yeah. and they st the standard still was there it's just an unbelievable performance unbelievable Spain had a lot of possession as we'd expected actually and it was in the last minute of extra time that Sarabia did this and it was so close as close possibly pal as it could get I mean they were controlling the ball around the Moroccan box consistently for over 10 minutes but here it goes goes wide and you can see you know Sarabia he's back stick three and we said it before, you, it's a glorious chance and he will be scratching his head now thinking, oh my, that needed to nestle in the back of the net. Yeah, that's probably going to keep him awake for a long time. I would, I would not be able to sleep for a week, two, three maybe. And his penalty as well probably will, Joe. And his penalty. And, 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 and the footballing gods, you know, that's, that's, it. that's what that is. That is the width of a post. I know, I know how that feels personally he'll be re in, in decades down the line he'll be reliving that moment and, and it's the football can be beautiful and we see it's beautiful watching Morocco but for Spain it can be cruel and for that young man it's, it's cruel tonight you know he's it's it's why we love it but he's done everything right as the balls come over he's got a, he's got a strong foot on it. he's gone across the goalkeeper like Hal was saying and it was just wasn't meant to be and and it's, it's cruel but English team is young and it will come again and it is a change in the guard tonight which with Sergio Busquets we would imagine this will be his last World Cup but they've got enough quality they'll come again Morocco had to really dig deep and they used five subs in the second half and they looked tired but they managed to hold on didn't they they saw a little bit of their defending and, and how important that was to this game Al yeah I think you know towards the end of the game they, they had men literally limping around the pitch and actually you know Amrabat from the first minute you could see that he was covering ground here he, he, he doesn't need to go out there but he's the one it's his responsibility to make sure that he's cleaning up all of the all of the areas where Spain could have hurt them size here again you know they were willing to step in and be def be real defensively minded at times when other defenders maybe would step off a little bit and give them a little bit more space but they would have seen how Spain hurt Costa Rica particularly in that first game with bits of play like this and that defendant is phenomenal as a last man incredible do, do you know what I was thinking as the game was in his first 20-30 minutes and the midfield uh, was, was a lot of work in front of them the, the, the defenders didn't have to do any work and you're almost as a midfielder you go I'm putting a shift in now I'm shutting people down I'm putting a shift in now but come the last 15-20 minutes when, when we're backed off and you defend properly you'd make sure you do your job and a Gerd a size they did Look at every it. time the ball come in recovery runs you know Amazing. discipline throwing oh. their body in the way incredible incredible Just outstanding yeah yeah Admitted. It's a, and again, you know, they had to do this. They would have known before the game, Spain are going to have opportunities. The bodies in the box. Again, you don't get that. Joey Joe, said it. You know, 
he's, Ziyech has not put a display in like that for Chelsea, but he was literally on the corner of his own 18-yard box for majorities of the game. Yep. Phenomenal. Yeah, and I also want to highlight defence. You know, I think they played a huge factor today for Morocco. Every time, you know, they didn't have the momentum, I felt they carry them out, you know. Every time there's a tackle, they're just behind them. Every time they're attacking, they're that's going to give you the energy, you know. And I felt that, at, especially at the end, when you have nothing to give, and it's only your heart and the fans carrying you. That helped them a lot. Also, obviously, during the penalty show. Actually. How you've been in this position, right, when you, and your team goes further in a competition than anybody expected that you would do. You did it at the Euros with Wales. What are they feeling right now? Look, they'll be riding on the crest of a wave now, and they will know that, that, that they have given their rule to get through. And, and it's games like today where actually every single man has to play their part we spoke about the goalkeeper bono the saves that he had to make you know we've spoken about amrabat in that defensive role plugging the gaps and we spoke about the likes of ziyech hikimi down that right hand side even bufal in the first half he looked like a world beater at times and every single man has to really play their part to create nights like this and that's what they've created they've created history and those feelings it brings back memories because getting through to the quarterfinal of a major tournament is one of the best feelings in the world Joe at what point not that I want to take the celebrations away from them now but at what point do they have to settle back down put their feet on the ground and go right we need to go again oh, good question <laughs> I don't think any of them will be asleep before sunrise tonight oh. you know I, I, you, the, the adrenaline will be too much they've just had for the majority of them probably all of them they've just had the night of their lives they've had the night of their lives and they'll be sitting there and they'll be talking about it and they'll have a warm down tomorrow and they've got another mountain to climb in four days they've got portugal or switzerland waiting for them and but that don't that, that at the moment that's not even crossed their mind they're just living i would say if i was in the, in that camp now i'd be just telling every one of them just take it all in take it all in go and see your family you've done it to we've got, it it's a and the, for me, the best moment in moments like this was when, not, this was great, when you got back into the dressing room and, and it's just you with your teammates, nothing better than that. Never had an African side in the semi-final of the World Cup, but this Moroccan side will feel they can do it, Nadia. Yeah, I mean, the way they've been playing, you know, this belief, this fate that they're coming with. It's, you know, it's a team, no one was thinking about that they're going to beat Spain today, not a lot of people, and they did it. And then, as you said, right now, take it in, enjoy the moment, and then take the next game. You never know what's going to happen. It's football. Maybe we'll do it for them, How We'll look ahead because, like Joe said, it's going to be Portugal or Switzerland. On that performance, if you're the coach, what are you wanting from them? What do they need to improve on? Goals? Um, no, look, they'll, they'll obviously they'll, they'll have an eye on the Switzerland and Portugal game. But when you look at the, both of those teams, they, they all fancy themselves. They, they played against the big teams already, this Moroccan team, and they've done well. They've stuck in games and they're hard to beat. And sometimes in tournaments, to win, to win the tournament, you need to score goals you know you need to really be able to open up teams but actually to get towards the latter round sometimes being defensively solid and hard to beat can make you go far and so that's what i see in this moroccan team and they will fancy themselves to do to, to give another display like that in four days time the next game that we are going to be having on itv portugal against switzerland team news has come through no ronaldo he's on the bench wow. joe wow. And we did for our for our viewers that didn't hear this earlier on he had a, a potential falling out with the manager. Manager yeah. said he didn't he didn't appreciate the way off. It looked like he, he might have let out a bad word. <laughs> Ronaldo said that was to an opposition player, yeah. but apparently it didn't go down too well. He is on the bench. What does that mean for the game? Well, that is a bold, brave decision by the manager. I suppose it's a decision that's easier to make when you've won trophies for your, for your country. And you're... I don't think anyone in Portugal's name stands next to Ronaldo, but but the manager's name is, is powerful because he's, he's he's done great things for that country. I think he would have deliberated over it. Uh, obviously, Ronaldo isn't playing as well. He isn't playing at his club. He hasn't lit up the tournament so far. I think it's a brave, bold decision, and um, we'll know in about two, three hours whether it's worked. We really will. Um, so one more place to book then in the quarterfinals. This is how it's looking at the moment. That game is coming right up. And these are the teams that have already booked their places. So you can see there, England against France, which we have on ITV on Saturday. Uh, Netherlands against Argentina. Wow, that's going to be a brilliant game as well. You can see Croatia and Brazil at the bottom of your screen there too. That Netherlands-Argentina game, how? Are you looking forward to that one? 
yeah, again, it's another big, big, big game. You know, it's starting to really feel like a World Cup now. The big, the big boys in this competition are beginning to turn up. You know, we saw what Messi did in that game. He, he, he's, he's got, he's got the bit between his teeth, and he wants to deliver. And I think anyone who's a neutral, they're going to want to see Argentina win because of Messi, because of what it will mean to the legacy of his name. But yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's exciting. England, France on Saturday, and there is also another bit of news there. Kylian Mbappe apparently didn't train with the team today. There's no hint Love that it. he has an injury <laughs> or anything like that. Read into that what you will. What will the England players read into that? <laughs> well, 